hello everyone and welcome back to another video so today like i said in my last video i'm going to be doing some press on nails but i did them a little bit different and i've never done them before so um what you first saw was me measuring my thumbnail because all the other ones fit perfectly but the thumbnail so I was just trying to shape the bottom of it so it fit perfectly into my nails and so the way that I'm prepping really is just filing all the shiny part off because I am going to be painting on like gel polish so I want to make sure it stays <clears throat> and I also don't have any like I'm not sure what it's called, like sticky tack or like that tacky stuff that I've seen other people use to stick their nails on. But I am going to be using these stickers that I got for my, those little glass swatches. If you guys seen my last AliExpress video, I showed you guys that. So I decided to use some of those stickers on here for this. And I honestly think it worked perfectly. The only trouble I had was when I had to file the nails. I ended up filing them a little bit because um, the first set of nails I did was were a little bit messed up. So I had to file um, some, I'm not even sure what it's called, like the foil gel that I have from Beatles. I had to file it off because it was not working at first. So that was the only trouble I was really having with this set. As you guys can see, I'm using a base coat, and if you're wondering where it's from, I don't believe I showed you, but it is the McCart base coat. So, if you guys are interested in that, I will have that link down below for you guys. It is a set, it comes with a base coat and top coat, and honestly, I'm not gonna lie, I really love it. I'm kind of starting to love McCart's products, I want to get more stuff from them now, and... This is the inspiration that I'm going to be using, or these foils, and I'm also going to be using this dark beige color from my Models 1 gel kit that I got a while back, and I also did a video on that if you're interested in that. And the other thing that I noticed was it's a little bit too dark, it doesn't match the foil too well and I want it to match as much as I can possibly get it to match so I'm going to be mixing in this pink that I got from that models one kit and then this very light 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 nude color and I'm hoping that will make it work and it actually worked really well I loved how it turned out the shade so I'm just mixing it up um, I got this little palette, I believe, from Shein. If not AliExpress, I don't remember, but I think it was Shein. Nope. I just remembered, actually. It was from HCS Nail Supply, if you're interested in that. I think it was like a free little gift that came along with it. But, yes, this is the color I ended up <clears throat> choosing. And... As you guys can see from my first swatch, this these gels are so buttery and smooth. I love them so much. I was just like, just this just reminded me how much I love these gel polishes from Models One. So if you guys are interested in that, I will have that link down below for you guys as well. The gel polish kit from Models One. I believe I purchased it on Amazon. But yeah, I love how it came out, the color, the shade. It was so creamy and smooth and buttery. I loved it.
so to people who usually watch my videos you guys know i usually do not prep my nails or put any primer or ph bond but this was a little bit different because these are technically press on nails and i didn't want them to fall off before monday so i was just trying to prepare for that also the thing that's different about this is i'm using a top coat or and not or and um some of the bling gel that i got from a cart and i'm going to be curing that under the lamp so that's what i'm going to be using to stick my nails on just because one i don't have any thing like to stick my nails on i don't have any nail glue right now at the moment as well so yeah <laughs> i need a lot of stuff right now but i'm going to be working with what i have So if you guys haven't noticed, um, I am struggling a lot with the McCart bling gel. I don't know if I have mentioned it in my other videos before, but it is really hard to get anything out of it. Um, I don't know why. I think it's just that this certain tube, because I have, I have another one just like this. And it comes out pretty easily, the other one that I have. I just can't find it right now. It got lost while I was moving. And this is the one that I have to work with for now, I guess. And you guys will see in a minute. But it's horrible what happens. So as you guys can see, I'm also filing underneath the nail before I put the gel on the nail bed and add the nail there. And you guys will see right now what just happened to my hand. I'll probably use this as a thumbnail or something <laughs> but yeah it like exploded while I was trying to squeeze the tube and I sat here for a second everything is sped up so you can't tell but I sat here for a good minute <laughs> and thought about what I should do and I literally scraped all that gel and I added it to that little palette in the corner so I didn't waste it <laughs> but yeah this is how it came out I love it it's a little blurry right now but i believe i fix it in a second i love how the nails came out they actually look really pretty i love the tips that i got from aliexpress they made them look like real acrylic nails they're pretty thick and yeah it has a really nice shape to them a really nice apex i'm really impressed with everything that i did today <laughs> So yeah, hopefully you guys like, like, subscribe, and leave any comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. Also, <clears throat> I am doing a Labor Day sale on my website, so please check out torchboutique.com if you're interested. Thank you guys so much. Bye.